The government of 1984's Oceania controls its people's actions and speech in some ways that are obvious. Their every move and word is watched and heard. And the threat of what happens to those who step out of line is always looming overhead. Other forms of control are not so obvious. The population is inundated with a constant barrage of propaganda, made up of historical facts and statistics manufactured in the Ministry of Truth. The Ministry of Peace is the military. Labor camps are called joy camps. Political prisoners are detained and tortured in the Ministry of Love. This deliberate irony is an example of doublespeak, when words are used not to convey meaning, but to undermine it, corrupting the very ideas they refer to. The regime's control of language goes even further, eliminating words from the English language to create the official dialect of new speak, a crudely limited collection of acronyms and simple concrete nouns, lacking any words complex enough to encourage nuanced or critical thought. This has an effect on the psyche Orwell calls doublethink a hypnotic state of cognitive dissonance in which one is compelled to disregard their own perception in place of the officially dictated version of events, leaving the individual completely dependent on the state's definition of reality itself. The result is a world in which even the privacy of one's own thought process is violated, where one may be found guilty of thought crime by talking in their sleep. And keeping a diary or having a love affair equals a subversive act of rebellion. This might sound like something that can only happen in totalitarian regimes. But Orwell was warning us about the potential for this occurring even in democratic societies. And this is why authoritarian alone does not Orwellian make. In his essay,